using nutrients? I can't no, tell. It's not least. Okay, well then cramping or bloating or discomfort of some kind, you gotta look for it, and especially linked with fats. In addition to that, you want to make sure you're using the best fermented, uh, best probiotic supplement you could find in addition to fermented foods. Okay, this is how you clear estrogen out. All right, I'm going to tell you some blockers in a second, but right now we want to get you to clear out the excess estrogen, the catechol estrogens. All right, you with me? Yes. Okay, probiotics and fermented foods and anything you could do to support bile. Get on the ultimate enzymes, start using ex extra bile salts. There's a couple of amino acids that can help you make bile. Uh, one is called glycine. Another one is called taurine. You might want to start using those. Uh, apple cider vinegar after all your meals as well. In terms of estrogen blockers, and there's a few of them in, that are non-pharmaceutical, non a couple of interesting ones are DIM and I3C, okay? But find both of those in a health food store. DIM, DIM is actually made by a guy in Boulder here. Uh, and I3C is another one. You can find both of those, as I say, in health food stores. Uh, Chrysin, C-H-R-Y-S-I-N, is also helpful. And then vitamins A and E both have some estrogen blocking effects. Again, they're fatty hormones. And, and whenever I hear of an estrogen problem, I think of problems with fats. So you may be deficient in these very important vitamins. 20,000 IU of vitamin A and then also uh, uh, about 400 to 800 IU of vitamin E. Zinc is also helpful, 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate. You probably want to get on the Fucoid Z as well. And of course, the Healthy Star Pack, that goes without saying. Focus on fats, focus on digestion, and focus on anti or estrogen blocking at anti-estrogen. Last but not least, pregnenolone capsules and or progesterone cream might be help for you, helpful for you as well. All right, there's, there's lots more, but that's a great place for you to start. Okay, Deborah, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so okay. much for your call. God bless you. Good luck with everything. All right, Robert in Nevada, what's up, man? How you doing? Farms has been a few. Thanks for taking my call. Appreciate it. Um, sure. I just made my first foray into juicing yesterday morning. Okay. Uh, what did you juice? Nice little. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. What did you juice? Yeah, uh, I took a good sized cucumber, two small carrots, uh, a little bit of water, and too much salt, <laughs> and uh, mixed it up. Tastes pretty good. But here's the thing: I about had a reaction to it. Um, what I couldn't stay off the toilet. So I guess my big question is, did my body just freak out with that yeah, juicing going it could through have that? What, what happened? Too much, too much stuff, plus all the fiber in the, nutri in the juice. So you may want to okay. reduce, the, reduce the juice, reduce the, um, the concentration of the juice, dilute it with water, or just okay. do less and then build yourself back up. And then you may want to okay. consider using some enzymes as well with the juice, if, especially if you have a history of digestive issues, you may, have a, you may not have enough enzymes. But you may have, it sounds to me like you did a little bit too much fiber. Um, and mm -hmm. then you may also want to make sure that you're using some fermented foods, fermented, uh, fermented uh, foods in addition to that, some probiotics as well, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, fermented vegetables of all kinds, and then also some uh, supplemental probiotics. Okay? So it was just too much. Too much I'm thinking it was shocked. too much, especially if you did a whole bunch and never did it before. That sometimes happens with seeds, with flax seeds. If you, people start uh -huh. doing flax seeds, that, that, help, that sometimes happens. By the way, for the estrogen folks, uh, flax seeds and all fiber can help you clear out excess estrogen, too. Hope that helps, Robert. I'm going to let you go. Okay, buddy? Thank you, Thanks, Thank you man. Have a good day. All right, let's see if we get one more in here. Joy in Florida, welcome to the bright side. Joy. Joy, Hello. Joy. Hey, what's up, Joy? Hey, um... I'm a 68-year-old woman, and okay. uh, my hair is white. It's My mother went white early, okay. which is fine. However, um, I'm really losing my hair. And okay. about three years ago, I went to um, a dermatologist, as recommended by my primary care physician. And he, he summarized it up by just having male pattern baldness. Well, here, but, let, me, um, you want, let me tell you what's happening, okay? Okay. The hair, the hair to the body, the hair is irrelevant. Your heart's important. Your liver's important. You know, your your lungs are important. Your internal organs are important. But the nails, the skin, and the hair, they're less important. So under conditions of deficiency, under conditions of stress, your body will will uh, harness or or uh, shunt uh, nutrients to the core of your body. 
and away from your hair and away from your nails and away from your skin. This is why a good skin, a good uh, healthcare professional will always look at somebody's nails. The nails grow faster than any other part of the body. The hair also grows fast. So the hair and the nails and the skin are the first place the body will take nutrients away from, and this is why hair loss occurs. Now there's thyroid is in, the thyroid is involved and hormones are involved, but the most important consideration is something burdening the body, and that includes a lack of nutrition. You follow me, Joy? Absolutely. So, okay, so what you want to start to do is you want to start to look for places in the body where you can control. You can't control the hair loss, but you sure can control your sugar, and you sure can control your oxygen, and you sure can control your foods, and you sure can control your nutrients. So as with all health challenges, this is so simple, you guys. One day, I'm just going to be off the air because everybody's going to finally get it. I'm not necessary here. I'm telling you, Joy has the same problem that everybody has when they have a health challenge. Lack of nutrition, a buildup of toxicity, and that includes sugar when I say a buildup of toxicity, and then uh, issues with oxygenation. And that, and of course, psychological and mental, that goes without saying. So here's what you want to do. Number one, focus on your foods. Look for problems with foods. If you think you have great digestion, it's probably unlikely, but that's not going to help you. You want to find problems. You want to look for places that you can solve. Do a food diary. Keep track of all the foods you eat and how you respond to those foods. Then start patching up the gut with the Biolumin Nightly Essence, with the Ultimate Enzymes, apple cider vinegar after all your meals, maybe some lecithin and bile salts if you want to go all out. Then you start to work on the blood sugar. And this is true for everybody with a health issue. Everything I'm saying to Joy goes for everybody with a health issue. Work on the digestive system. Then you go to the blood sugar. That means stabilizing your blood sugar, keeping blood sugar down by stopping or, or reducing your intake of bagels and pasta and fruits and fruit juice and dessert and oatmeal and potatoes and all the foods that break down into sugar. Use your sweeties and your electrolyte nutrients, your potassium and sodium and calcium. Of course, you'll get those in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Star Pack, and those are must-haves. Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Start Pack. Then thirdly, you're going to start to work on relaxing the body. The body heals when it's relaxed. It loses the hair when it's freaked out. You know, that's a stereotype. People lose their hair when they're under stress. Why? Because when you're under stress, your body marshals all of its resources towards the core of your body, towards the, the muscles, the large muscles, and towards the heart and the lungs, and away from the hair. So relaxing the body is also extremely important. And then start to focus on fats. And when it comes to digestion, anyway, focus on your fats because there's a very important relationship between estrogen, estrogen processing, and hair loss as well. And again, that goes back to the digestive enzymes and the bile salts and the apple cider vinegar. So you've got three major points that you're going to address, digestion, sugar, and oxygenation, deep breathing techniques, and stress, stress management techniques. And the good news is, Joy, not only are you going to get your, your, hair, stop, will you, uh, your hair stop falling out, but you're going to feel better. You're going to increase your longevity and you're going to reduce the likelihood of ugly degenerative diseases. Thanks for your call, Joy. We're just out of time, and I apologize if we left you on hold. As always, call back tomorrow, and we'll get you first up. Just tell our call screen we left you on hold. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my website's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, and truthtreatments.com for my skin health products. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.